Shampooing your hair isn't as simple as lather, rinse, repeat anymore. From choosing the right shampoo to drying, there's a lot you need to know before you suds up. Stylist Jemmy Cherizio is here with tips and tricks for the perfect way to wash. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, good morning. Let's start with the shampoo. What is the job? Well, the job of a shampoo is to simply cleanse the hair. Sometimes people put too much you know too much on their shampoo like mm -hmm. its job is to truly just take the dirt and the oil out of the hair so that it can receive the conditioning benefits of the conditioner to follow okay and how do you know which shampoo is right for your hair well we always recommend that you get a recommendation from your stylist or mm -hmm. professional but um kind of as a rule of thumb if your hair is dry look for a creamy or milky colored uh shampoo ah. because it has added conditioners to it okay so not clear Clear is more if you have oily hair. Okay. So there's no added conditioners to it, so it will it will more deeply cleanse the hair than the the milky colored ones. Mm -hmm. And then talk about sulfates. Okay, so there's all this buzz about sulfates, you know, and you always see like sulfate free. And right. They've been very like demonized in the hair industry and the product industry. Right. And it's not necessarily true. If you're using a higher quality, an elite level salon even um, product, all, not all sulfates are created. To, they're 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 not all the same. Okay. They're, um, some are more harsh and some are more gentle. And it's really just a surfactant which lifts grease and dirt from the hair. Which is what you're trying to do if which you're cleansing you're to do anyway, shampoo, right? Right, <laughs> exactly. And then a lot of people use dry shampoo. Are there things we need to keep in mind when it comes to dry shampoo? Yeah, so we've seen this big trend with women shampooing less that they are leaning far more on dry shampoo, which is really a styling product. It's more of a hair refreshment, if you will, okay. than actually cleansing the hair. All right. So you should not replace that with an actual cleanser. Okay. So it's okay to use dry shampoo, but just don't go yeah, overboard? Like, I mean, we recommend two to three days for mo the average person. So for instance- You can go without cleaning your hair? Well, two days, okay? So, okay. I mean, it's probably a little different for you since you're on, you know, on live <laughs> TV every day. But um, like in the salon on day two, like I will use a dry shampoo and put my hair up in a ponytail. So okay. it kind of roughs it up and it can be used as an, a styling aid. Okay, and then let's go through the actual process of shampooing. What do we need to keep in mind when you're in the shower and you're doing this? Okay, first thing we always recommend is that you actually get your hair wet um, under the shower mm -hmm. and you do it with warm water. It opens up the hair cuticle so that way uh, dirt and oil will, and product will get out of the hair shaft easier that way. Okay, so get the warm water on there. Shampoo one time, two times. Okay. I know when you're in the salon, they sometimes do it twice. Well, in the salon, it's different. It's more of an experience, and it depends on the service that you are receiving in the salon. So okay. there's all, all different sorts of protocols for different types of situations. But generally speaking, at home, you know, if you're you have your regimen, and whether it's one every day, two days, three days, whatever. Focus on the scalp when you shampoo because that's really where dirt and oil accumulate. Okay. And that's really where you want to get the most lift uh, and really cleanse the, the scalp of the hair. Talk to me about noodling. I don't know what this is. <laughs> We're supposed to noodle our hair. <laughs> okay, so noodling is a term that we actually um, use in the salon. And it was a term that was coined by a, a product called uh, Diva Curl. Mm -hmm. But we have applied it to all uh, hair types and it really works. So basically you want to take the conditioner and you are raking it through your hair until there is absolutely no drag and your hair hangs in like kind of like big wet looking noodles. Oh. So we can visibly see this in the salon. Okay, so just like w run your fingers yes. through and keep going, going, going. Right, but since most people don't have a mirror in their shower, basically <laughs> until you feel zero drag. Okay. And you wanna start at the mid shaft and kind of keep it off the scalp. But when you feel no resistance, your hair is thoroughly conditioned. Okay, so yeah, that, what does that do when you feel like you're... Well, then the cuticle has closed down. Mm -hmm. the, the good things that are inside the conditioner are in the in hair shaft. In your hair, yes. okay. And then what about when you're rinsing? Hot water, warm water? Well, we recommend, and not everybody wants to do it in the middle of winter necessarily, but I mean, what I normally do is just kind of lean over and turn the shower down and make it a cool rinse because it then closes down that hair cuticle and all oh. the good things that you just put in from the conditioner is then trapped in the hair. So just get good. your body out of the water. Yeah, just try to kind of you know, lean over. And then what about when you actually get out of the shower? I know a lot of people go crazy yeah. with the towel. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So, I mean, it, when people like rake their hair like this, all you're doing is just roughing up the hair cuticle that you mm -hmm. have just laid down with the conditioning and the cool rinse and all that. So um, I always kind of just take my hair and do that and throw the water out of the, sh you know, like out of the hair. 
and then I use a separate towel than my body towel. And like one of these? Yeah, okay, so these, we have we have like fancier salon towels yeah. in the salon, but they're basically the same thing. And these you can buy at a three pack at CVS for five bucks. And it's a microfiber, super high absorbency towel, and you squeeze it. And that way, if you put a leave-in conditioning spray or whatever your styling products are, your hair gets more benefit from your other products. I love it. And then you can go uh, wash your car with it afterwards. Absolutely. You can, shave, you can <laughs> buff your car. It's like a multi-purpose towel. Jerry Carrizio, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you.